again these videos I'm not I don't have any onboard diagnostics I'm not uh, positioning myself as any kind of battery expert this is just observational and trying to figure out if there's anything that your regular everyday owner can do to uh, get the DC fast charge rate up in winter when the car's been sitting cold all night Zero morning here in Boston. Um, heading down to Burlington Mall again for another test of uh, cold winter fast charging, cold battery fast charging to be precise. Um, which this morning, if we get lucky, will be a level two charge to begin with, um, and then that followed by a DC fast charge. On the EVgo units, 24 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about minus four degrees Celsius. And hopefully, we'll have some availability here to have the pick of our charger and test out the things we need to test. That might be wishful thinking, but we'll see. So it suggests more than two hours to 80%, which already tells me this is a slow, slow startup rate. And there we go. Just, just to confirm that, 14 kilowatts startup on a cold sub-zero Celsius day. But this is clearly too slow to start up so I'm going to move over to the level 2 stick it on there for an hour and see if that changes the rate for fast charging once we uh, do that here we don't usually get the pick of the chargers so the uh, level 2 is available here there is a leaf on one of the EVgo fast chargers but the other one was free to test that startup rate so I'm gonna plug in here with the level 2 Charging up now, okay, so it's 8.50, still 24 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll leave it on for an hour and we'll see if this makes any difference at all to the startup rate on a DC fast charge in winter. It's actually even lower. So my Chevy up 15%, charging complete by 5.30 this afternoon. Not gonna wait that long, but we'll give this an hour come back a little before 10 a.m. and see if it makes any difference to hooking up to one of these now both available DC fast charge units. So back after a little bit less than an hour on the level two, uh, charged about an extra 10%, so we went from 15 to 25%. Um, so there you see, Still same temperature, 24 degrees Fahrenheit, minus four Celsius. And I'm gonna switch over now. I have uh, someone waiting here, so a bit of EV etiquette. I'm gonna plug in the uh, level two into the awaiting Toyota Prius hybrid, plug-in hybrid. And uh, we'll transfer that charge to him and we'll jump on a, the available DC fast charger to see what startup rate we get. Let's do it. Okay, so here's a good bit of EV etiquette. They leave the charger port open, plug them in, do them a favor, and now everyone's charging. Twenty 
5%. State of charge. Let's see, still doesn't look promising based on the 80% complete time. Not even a little bit of help. You can see it bumping up to 16 here, which we didn't have on the first baseline um, DC fast charge when we started, when we arrived. That started between 14 and 15. So we'll give this a chance, see if it kicks up a little bit. Um, but that's just one more thing to cross off the list. It wouldn't be a particularly useful um, thing anyway, because as I said, when we started up, it's not usual that you'll get um, an L2 and the DC fast charger free at the same place, at least not with the current setups. I find that this uh, this level 2 unit here is frequently taken for a long time, even people charging overnight or you know, hanging around for a good 3-4 four, four hours. Um, and then the uh, DC fast charge units are getting busier and busier with more EVs on the road So it's not usual that you'll actually have a level 2 next to a DC fast charger to even Attempt this but you may have one close to your house that you can you know stop for breakfast plug it into a Level 2 unit go get your breakfast and then come out and go to another location to DC fast charge after a cold night uh, with the battery cold soaking, but again, it's not gonna make a lot of difference to your startup charge right here. But winter here, we're still seeing this same problem we've been uh, struggling with for the last three months here. I'm going to do a uh, summary of the, the numbers that we have. This actually, the, the trip um, energy details haven't been reset. We haven't fully charged to 100% since uh, the trip to Syracuse which was the very start of winter and back in December. And that's up on the, uh, we'll leave a video link in the, the lower description here. But um, these numbers represent pretty much what we've got from winter. There's a few more weeks of it left. So I'll uh, keep them going, see how they pan out. But uh, those breakdowns represent a pretty good winter for us in Massachusetts with uh, a lot of local driving, a couple of road trips and uh, preconditioning every day. But let's see, I don't see this ticking up. So 10 minutes later, still 16 kilowatts, not picking up at any great speed. So we'll unplug and head on our way. Okay, I'm gonna hit the road. Again, if I had to summarize this, I would just say that the only time we've managed to get that fast charge rate um, on one of these EVgo units, at least this one, this site right here, has been when we've driven on a road trip. So using the car all day and getting the internal battery temperature up just through sheer length of driving and highway speeds and everything that uh, but this is just observational and trying to figure out if there's anything that your regular everyday owner can do to uh, get the DC fast charge rate up in winter when the car's been sitting cold all night. 